Hello, I'm Victoria Stilwell, dog behavior expert from It's Me or the Dog and founder of the Victoria Stilwell Academy for Dog Training and Behavior. Today, I'm going to be looking at some of the videos you've sent in of your dogs. First is a dog with a hunger for sticks, unlike any other. That's incredible, and no, you said that she has actually hurt herself doing this, and I'm not surprised. And so now you're putting a muzzle on her to stop her from hurting herself. So yes, there is a lot there. And of course, you know, Belgian Malinois, they are very energetic, they're very active dogs, um, and they love playing a game of tug. So what are you gonna do about it? Well, you say that you've used toys, but I don't think actually just taking toys with you on a walk is enough. I think there has to be some kind of game that goes along with the toys. And the toys can be stick-like. So there are many toys that you can get that look like sticks, but they're much safer, and the dog can't ingest them, but it's something that you might bring out on walks. So one walk you have a tug rope, the next walk you have that stick-like toy. And there are various games that you can play that redirects all that energy onto something that is more appropriate. The most important thing is you don't want to reinforce this behavior. So you have to walk her in places, which I know you said that you've been doing, that, that there is no temptation around. And when there is temptation around, she is on the leash. Because rehearsal of behavior means that this behavior is gonna continue. And she really enjoys this. I mean, this is really fun for her. And if you give the dog more outlets and more enrichment in other ways, then they're less inclined to do this on walks. So before I would take her on a walk, I would get her energy out on doing a lot of nose work games, for example. So instead of her nose going up, uh, onto the tree, um, I would be throwing like little bits of food on the ground so that she's scenting and almost tracking because the nose that goes down does not go up. Good luck, there, I mean, she's a beautiful dog. You have an amazing dog there with a lot of energy. I do hope that harnessing that energy in other ways is gonna really help stop this behavior. Next, meet Reggie, a dog who shakes when he wants something. Shift. Shift. This is very interesting behavior, and you know what? Reggie's not alone. I see this a lot, especially with little dogs. I see it around food, I see it around toys, and that causes kind of like an adrenaline rush that causes this shaking and this growling. Try not to put him in a situation where he is close to you when you have something that he values. But if you have to be in that scenario, in that situation, try giving him a toy with a little bit of food in it, for example, so that he can, instead of like growling and shaking and becoming conflicted and becoming a little bit anxious around it, he has something to do. So that negative energy goes on to positive energy. And that means you can enjoy your what you're eating in peace and he can enjoy what he's eating in peace as well. So try that and see how it goes. But yes, this is very normal behavior, especially in little dogs. Finally, here's a dog that has formed an intimate relationship with his dog bed. We look at it and yeah, it's funny. I mean, of course it's funny, but dogs hump things for many reasons. And it's not just about the reason that everybody thinks dogs hump things for. Humping can happen when a dog is excited, when a dog is bored, when a dog is anxious. And as you say, he's an anxious dog anyway, that's the reason why you've got the bed. And that's why when you try to get him, him off it or you try stopping that behavior, he's gonna bite you. I really like what you've done, 
already that you have the harness on and the leash on, that's great so that you are taking away that opportunity. You're not putting your hands and reaching down to him so that he can bite you. And I also like the fact that you've taken away the bed and, and, and that's what I think has to, has to remain. If you put that kind of bed down again, he's just gonna do that behavior. Now, you can use a flat bed, so there's less desire and need um, to, to hump it. I think that um, there needs to be other outlets found for his energy. Take him to training. I would do more sort of training activities with him, take him for more exercise. And, and I call these confidence building activities. It gives them outlets to kind of cope with changes in environment or when they, when they feel uncomfortable. And so I don't think this is a sexual behavior. I do feel like this is the dog's way of just coping with situation and it makes him feel good. So yes, remove the bed, give him something else to lie on, make sure that the rest of his life is enriched, a lot of physical activity, so he doesn't feel the need to hump. Those were amazing videos. We've got loads more to get to. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about your dog's behavior, you can go to my website, positively.com. And if you want to learn more about becoming a dog trainer, go to vsdogtrainingacademy.com.